Hey there everybody, this is going to be uh, kind of different from my other videos, um, it's about the how tough it really is to grow on YouTube, and how only 8% of people on the platform have even a thousand subscribers. YouTube is a very cruel platform, it favors low effort, high, I don't know how else to say it, this video is not scripted. Um, uh, low effort, uh, low effort content that you can make multiple videos out of. Um, example of this, toy reviews, Ryan's toy reviews, I don't know how he got so popular. Um, and I feel like there are very few creators that, like, actually get the recognition they deserve. Like, uh, I'd say Pyrocynical. Uh, how he's changed his channel recently really helped him out. Like, how he started doing videos about, uh, long-form content about, like, movies, TV shows, games. That is really the kind of content that should be YouTube, not, I don't know, Spider-Man and Elsa videos. But what does this have to do with tough growing on YouTube or how hard it is? It's so hard to get like that little spark of like content or recognition. You have to really work for it. Um, Like me, for example, I started my channel when I was, uh, I was 12 and then uh, I didn't really do anything I, with it. I posted like a couple videos just for the fun of it. And then it was only really this year in 2022 that like I actually started to try YouTube. Uh I started posting. I used to post a video every 2 days and that was that, that took a toll. So I moved it to a week and I'd say I put a good amount of effort into my videos. I try my best to fact check everything and make sure the script is everything is pretty good. That's why I spend the most amount of time I have on like creating videos. And then I edit everything myself. It's not the best by any means, but I do try my best. Um, I I took a lot of inspiration from really small channels like Gibby, not the ASMR channel, the Chris Chan uh, content creator, and some ordinary gamer. They were both big ins big inspirations for me to talk about YouTubers. Oh yeah, and of course Sunny V too. <laughs> um, and with me, I feel like my channel is doing well right now. I'm really thankful for everything, but. It just took me so long to find what really, like, stuck and, like, what kinds of videos I should make. Because if you, like, if you make videos about YouTubers, not every one of them will do good. You have to find specific types of YouTubers. That's why I talk about mainly lol cows and YouTubers with, like, a fan base that has been dying out. Like, HH3, Nikado Avocado. And, you know, I've learned this. I'm still learning about YouTube and I'm just... I remember, I'm just, I can't believe how thankful I am that, uh, I have 400 subscribers. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I'm just really happy about this. Uh, what else was I gonna talk about? Yeah, like I said before, this video is non-scripted. It's about how hard it is to grow on YouTube. Um, it's really tough because there are so many bigger channels, and for me at least, I used to be the kind of person that would be like, I don't want to subscribe to a small YouTube channel. But then I have really changed my attitude about that. Uh, I've been subscribed to some really small channels, and then it's just so cool to see them grow. Like, for example, Cyberviews. I don't know how he has so little subscribers. He makes some of the best content on YouTube. He is so funny and witty, and his reviews are actually really good. But the thing I'm worried about this is, the reason he's not getting success successful is because there are just so many channels on YouTube, and most of them post low-effort content. Um... <clears throat> But low effort, already said, run story reviews, but there's also things like, like, uh, shorts, most shorts videos are really low effort, they just repost TikTok stuff. And saying shorts is bad is, uh, is pretty, would be pretty hypocritical of me, because I have a shorts channel. But I try to upload on a daily basis, but as you can see, that's not been the case. Because I've just, I really just need to break, um, I... <clears throat> have had very little time for YouTube because I have school and after school activities like sports and I have hobbies that I want to and like enjoy like right now I'm playing Three Elden Ring uh because I wasn't able to do it when it first came out and I'm not saying it's because of my channel but I mean making a video once a week it's I I really just have a lot more respect for YouTubers that post daily I mean of course there's other factors like I have I have seven to eight hours of my day cut off just from school so that basically leaves me with the weekend to make videos and it's it, I mean it's been tough the crunch um and I feel like that's why my recent videos have been 
honestly kind of low effort. That's why they've been getting shorter, uh, because I just haven't had the time to do it. And of course, I'm still really thankful for everybody that's still watching my videos, but I just want you guys to understand that, you know, it takes a lot of effort to uh, make these kind of videos, like my Christian one. <laughs> I basically ignored my homework for that week just to make it. Ah, oh, man, but I'm, I know this video is called uh, Why It's Hard to Grow on YouTube because there's a bunch of low effort content and uh, <clears throat> a sea of like people that only want to watch big YouTubers that and they and there are people that have no respect for small YouTubers um, and they don't give them a chance. And just to say this, I'm really grateful that I ran out 400 subscribers because it's always been my dream to at least get 100 subscribers or and I'm hoping to get a thousand by the end of the year. I really hope we can do this together and I hope I will never lose this kind of attitude because I always want to be humble about it. Because truly, I am grateful. Um, so I just want to say thank you for all that you've given me.